Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 18th. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. I do plan to start June's tomorrow. Um, so June's are right around the corner. So, and, you know, like 2021 is almost half over. Isn't that crazy? Anyhow, let's get started. Let's get started. Well, Four of Cups. I mean, it flipped right over in my hand. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys about my camera. I ordered a new camera, right? I don't like it, so... I didn't like it. I already have a Canon M50. That's what I use right now. I just got to reset it. But I haven't done that yet. But I'm going to. Anyhow, Four of Cups is discontent. Discontent. Um, thinking about something. Examining. Somebody's not happy. They're not happy with their current circumstances and they're thinking about walking away uh, because the next card is the Five of Cups. There's, there's some sort of interference here. Uh, somebody is missing an opportunity or they're thinking about another opportunity quite a bit. Nine of, I told you they were not happy. Nine of Cups reversed. This is very dissatisfied. Wishing that they had more. And these are both cups. Wishing they had more emotional fulfillment. Somebody's not happy in a situation. They're not living their best life. There's a lack of uh, wish fulfillment here. So, hmm. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is about teamwork, togetherness, wanting togetherness. Somebody wants togetherness. They want more than they have right now. King of Cups reversed. Absolutely. We got somebody here who's not happy. Their, their, their heart is not in a healthy place. Their heart is not getting what it needs. It's not getting the nourishment. It's not getting the love that it needs. So there's a need for love here. There's a need for emotional fulfillment. There's some sort of emotional shutdown here as well. Um, very dissatisfied with their current circumstances. There's a lack of love here uh, or reciprocation or something like that. Three of Pentacles is wanting to get together, wanting togetherness, wanting somebody to work with. Um, but I think there's an opportunity to work with somebody, but I feel like there's some sort of interference. I feel like there's third party interference here. We have somebody here that is extremely busy and that could be the interference. They, they just don't have enough time. But there is an opportunity. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment and for emotional fulfillment. We have somebody here that's probably not getting what they need by, with the King of Cups reverse. And, and I feel like there's some sort of withdrawal here. Um, somebody may be withdrawing, you know, from a situation because they're not happy with that Nine of Cups. That Nine of Cups reverse. This is unable to give or receive love. Somebody's not receiving. They're not receiving the love that they need. There's a lack of inner happiness here. Somebody's also been overlooked. They overlooked an opportunity and now they're thinking about it quite a bit. Seven of Swords. So there is some sort of deception here. There's some sort of lies. Somebody is doing something very, very sneaky. They could also be slipping away, sneaking away. 
um, very sneaky behavior here. There's also somebody that is is wanting to be ahead of the rest. This is somebody that um, is very wow. Well, this person is with the with that three of pentacles. This is somebody that needs attention. I feel like we have somebody here that needs attention, that wants attention, that is looking for attention. Somebody needs some sort of attention and they've been cheated. They've been cheated in some way. There's some sort of being cheated here. There's deception. Somebody's lying and they're lying about their feelings. There's like no love here. With that King of Cups reverse, there's a lack of love, a lack of reciprocation. And I think there's because it's a, it's like there's another opportunity. That's why. Anyhow, um, the Seven of Swords is uh, somebody, it feels like we have somebody here that is being very, very sneaky. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is assertive behavior. Uh, doing something. Somebody is about to do something. They've come up with some sort of plan. And that's what I was going to say a, a couple minutes ago. I was like, I think we have somebody here that is planning something. They're, they, it feels like they're planning on leaving something that is emotionally dysfunctional. They're not happy. They're dissatisfied. This is not what they wished for. It's not what they hoped for. It's not bringing them happiness. They've uh, been contemplating another opportunity, but they haven't uh, been able to take charge and take action towards that opportunity because of that interference. And that interference, I don't know if it's a job or if it's work or if it's another person. We have somebody here that is, I feel like they're in the planning stages. And there, it, it's like there's some, I feel like we have somebody here that is doing something behind the scenes. Because they want to work with somebody else. I mean, that three of pentacles is working with, with other people. Working with somebody else. Anyhow, I, I feel like we have somebody here that is... Put going to be putting their plans in action. There, this is somebody that is very smart, intellectual, uh, ambitious, and, and takes risks. There's risk here. There is. This is a risk. There's some sort of risk. Taking a risk. It's risky. It is risky. It's risky business. It is risky business. Hmm. The knight of the knight of swords is somebody that is is. Doing something. This is, I got to do this. I have to do this. I have to. I have to. I have to. So somebody is going to take an approach. They're going to do something that they have to do. And it's the way it goes. This is, I got to do it. I got to. I have to. I have to. I have to. It's almost like it's time to go. Something like that. Um... Ace of Wands reverse. Now that is weighed down. Somebody has been weighed down by a passionless situation. There's no passion. There's no growth. There's no excitement. Uh, there's no spark. And they're probably uh, going in a new direction. They're, they're, they want to go in a new direction anyway. Ace of Wands is going south. Something is going south. It's going in the wrong direction. Um, there's no excitement here. Somebody is in a less than exciting situation. There's there's no there's no spark. There's no spark at all. The, the fire has gone out. Okay. They're in a they're in a passionless situation, and they may be thinking about cheating. I mean, this is cheating. Okay, this is thinking. Or maybe they're going to do it because typically the Knight of Swords just does it. Oh. And this doesn't have to be, you know, uh, I guess it doesn't have to be cheating, but they're thinking about 
uh, I feel like there's there could be some sort of unexpected uh, leaving with that seven of swords. It's like some, but with a smile on their face. Somebody's gonna be leaving with a smile on their face. That's what I see. It's just like, I mean, that's what, I look, that's what it looks like. Somebody's leaving with a smile on their face. I feel like we have an upcoming get-together here. We have somebody here that is very dissatisfied. They're in a passionless situation. They may be getting together with somebody that uh, is very attractive to them I mean it looks like there's an opportunity here for uh, love okay with that four of cups wouldn't be here if there wasn't okay there is an opportunity for love there's an opportunity for emotional fulfillment there's an opportunity to have it all but somebody's been ignoring their heart they have been uh, they have totally been ignoring their heart they haven't been following their heart they've been staying in this passionless situation where there's not a lot of passion um, anyhow I do believe that there is some sort of action that is about to be taken with that knight of swords this is assertiveness it is communication it is talking it is uh, taking a risk so I do believe that we have somebody here that is about to t do something they're about to take a risk um, Somebody's been weighed down by another person. I think I already said that. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could also be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But somebody has been weighed down by somebody that may use emotional blackmail against them. You know, this. I'm not sure if we even have somebody here that has cheated, you know, and they've been hiding it. They've betrayed them and they've been hiding it. But this is the truth. So I, there could be some, the Knight of Swords holds the truth. So I'm wondering if somebody may may uh, receive some sort of information that is very truthful, you know. I also feel like we have somebody here that has been ignoring their intuition. They've been ignoring what their heart wants as well definitely not happy they probably wish that they never got involved with this person but it, it feels like they they are having a hard time uh or their situation whether it's a person or this is i hope i wish that i didn't i wish that i didn't so somebody may have some regrets for not taking an opportunity or for taking an opportunity uh, that they took and there, there may be, be some regrets here Nine of Wands reversed. So the Nine of Wands reversed is avoiding challenge. We have somebody here that has been staying, I think, in a situation because they didn't want to put up a fight. They didn't want to fight. They didn't want to deal with a challenge. You know, they didn't want to be rejected or something like that. Uh, I feel like we have somebody here that has great personal fear. They have fear of being rejected or fear of being alone nines are about loan it really is and we have a few nines here so i feel like we have somebody here that does, that is afraid to be alone and that's why they've stayed put in a situation and this could be a job situation that somebody may be afraid to go out on their own but there's no growth in this current situation whatever it is there's nothing coming to fruition there's no uh love here there's love to be had but somebody has been uh ignoring an opportunity for love because uh why because they weren't being logical because they didn't want to they didn't want to deal with the challenge they didn't want to deal with the argument you know but they've been thinking about it a lot I do we have, see that we have somebody here whose heart 
can't take it anymore with the King of Cups in reverse. There could be some sort of emotions that are coming out. Somebody may be, you know, having a hard time. Uh, they may even, they may have a, be, have a hard time expressing their emotions or they may be overly emotional. So I do, or there's heart issues here. I do believe that there is some sort of uh, a new approach that is about to be taken, put it that way, with that Knight of Swords. That is somebody that is going to do something, and it's because of their heart. You know, their heart is not getting the uh, love or the oxygen that it needs. You know, there's just a not, there's no love okay or emotional fulfillment or the heart is not thriving put it the heart is not thriving somebody's heart is not where it needs to be okay it's not getting what it needs to whatever anyhow anyhow i do believe that uh there's been some sort of challenge that has been avoided we have somebody here that is overwhelmed they're not happy they do want more they have an opportunity for something to work together you know with somebody that they are probably very compatible with you know but they it and, and i don't know if they've cheated with this person in the past or there's some sort of something or they've been planning with this person in the past or talking to this person or something because there's communication here there is but I, and I, I feel like uh, we have somebody here that is just really discontent over their current situation and not happy, not happy at all. Um, and I think that things are not getting any better. If anything, they're probably getting worse with that Ace of Wands reversed and the King of Cups reversed. And I think that's the reality of it. Something is getting worse. I, there's, 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 there's some sort of cheating here or deception or betrayal. Um, we may have somebody here that is very cocky as well. You know, this is this is somebody that um, thinks that they're pulling the wool over somebody's eyes. You know, they're pulling the wool over somebody's eyes, and maybe they are because we got somebody here that is probably disillusioned with the King of Cups reversed. That that could definitely be disillusionment. But I do feel like we have a wake up call because that Knight of Wand or Knight of Swords. This is somebody that is very uh, truthful and honest and, you know, does what they have to do. So anyway, I do believe that there is some sort of movement, okay, with that Knight of Swords. That is take, taking charge, just doing it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I am. So Three of Swords in reverse is on the bottom. That is on the path to recovery. That is healing that is uh, dealing with the broken heart, you know. Um, somebody has been suffering needlessly. They have been suffering needlessly in a situation where there's been some sort of, it's an unhealthy situation, put it that way. But I feel like this is, this is going in a new direction, down a path to recovery. Um, this is healing. It's a heal. I mean, the Three of Swords reverse is healing a heart. It's it's leaving the past hurts behind and moving forward. So somebody is is healing from a broken heart, or maybe somebody jumped into something because before they were healed. Anyhow, I do believe that there is some sort of healing that is right around the corner, and there could be a healing. You know, there could be a healing partner here. I keep looking at this <laughs> Three of Pentacles. And I keep thinking this is this is an interesting card because I feel like there's some sort of serious compatibility, but there's third party interference here. There's an opportunity to work together with somebody, but I feel like there's somebody in the way and there's a strong compatibility here. There is somebody that is in the way. Anyhow, um, and the challenge would be real. The challenge, accepting the challenge, you know, that you might break somebody's heart. I mean, if you're not in love, you're not in love. If you're not in love, you're not in love. If you don't love it, you shouldn't be there. That's the reality of it. That's the truth. And love hurts. We all deserve to be loved. We all deserve to have emotional fulfillment and passion. 
So I feel like we have somebody here that is in some sort of situation where there is a lot of uh, discontent with that Four of Cups. I mean, it starts out with, you know, I'm looking for something more. We got somebody here that is looking for something more, but, and they're seriously not happy. They're not happy in their current circumstances. Anyway, somebody's going to receive some news. I feel like, uh, with, that, with that Knight of Swords, I feel like there's some sort of information that is coming. We may have somebody here that does not desire to go down this path any longer, you know. I do believe that there's, I feel like there's a rejection here. I do feel like there's a rejection um, because it's not, I mean, it's not what was wished for. It's not what was hoped for. It's not what was desired. You know, I want something more. And I hear those words, I want something more. Or I'm going for something more. Anyhow, I do believe that this is, the, I feel like there could also be some tears shed. Because I feel like, you know, when somebody speaks the truth and they're dealing with somebody that is very emotional, you know, sometimes people cry. So I do feel like there's there could be some tears that are shed. Just being honest with you, I feel like uh, we have somebody here that is burned out. They are burned out um, with that nine of wands reversed. They are burned out from a situation that, that where there's no, it is. With the ace of wands reversed as well, that is definitely burned out. That's, that's, they're burned out. There's no, there's no flame here. There's no spark. There's no nothing. Okay, and I feel like uh, this is uh, emotional withdrawal, withdrawing. With I feel like there's some sort of withdrawal, you know, that kind of thing. This isn't what I asked for. This isn't, you know, a dream come true, you know, that kind of thing. With that nine of cups reversed, I feel like I feel like we have somebody here that is um, making a decision to not engage with somebody that they are not attracted to for some reason or another. Ace of Wands, no desire. I feel like they've, they've, we, hit, we have a no here as well, but I also feel like we have somebody that is getting together with an individual that they are very compatible with. I do. I feel like there's some sort of compatibility uh, with an individual, with somebody else. Okay? I do. And I feel like we have somebody here that is leaving with a smile on their face and they've been hiding it. You know, they've been hiding something. Anyway, I do believe that there is some challenging news that is coming. I feel like you can expect a challenge, maybe even expect some trouble. Okay, beware, okay, I think beware is a good point to this reading. I think that you should expect, expect some trouble, expect some trouble. I think we have somebody here that is very emotional as well, and they may cause some problems. Assertiveness, we have somebody here that is very assertive and may get rejected and, and become assertive and say some, some things based on their feelings because of a rejection. I feel like there's definitely emotional blackmail here as well. We have somebody here that is out for themselves and out for themselves only. And I feel like the person that they're dealing with may realize something about that person. And I know it's hard to explain, but I feel like we have somebody here that has been trying really, 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 really hard to make something work, to make this be a dream come true, to make this, you know, be the best thing ever. But the fact is, it's not. 
and there is another opportunity to work together with somebody that they are compatible with and I feel like that is where we are at there could be some sort of uh, there's something going on behind the scenes put it that way I also feel like we have somebody here, well, that's the same story, but in different words. This is giving up. It's like giving up. I'm giving up. Somebody is giving up on a deceptive situation because they're not happy. Same story, just different words. It's like, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to do this anymore. There's no desire. There's no passion. So, yeah, I think that we have somebody here that is uh, going towards something more... compatible seriously I think it's just compatible something that they have been thinking about a lot they may have met this person through a job or through work or through something like that good luck <laughs> 